In this video, we're going to show how to reproduce the effect of a speaker cabinet of an amp using the Sonox EQ. Speaker cabinets play an important part in the overall sound of a guitar or bass tone. So this is the kind of sound that comes out of the combination of an amp and a speaker cabinet. So pretty much what we expected. But how would this sound if we removed the speaker cabinet from our stack? leaving just the amp section. The output tone sounds a bit harsh, interesting for special effects, but if you're looking for a more traditional guitar sound, it might not be really suitable. So let's fix that by simulating a speaker cabinet using the Sonox EQ. So we press play, and start fixing this fizzle that appears in the highs, I'm going to use a slope of 18 dB per octave in the low pass filter. And then we select a cutoff frequency at around 6100 Hz, getting rid of part of the fizzle. And then we're going to do kind of the same thing with the lows, but keeping the original slope. And we select a cutoff frequency of around 46 Hz. That should be it. Now we need to reduce three specific frequency values. The first one is around 9400 Hz, so let's select that value. By the way, we're going to work with Type 2, which is good for removing individual frequencies. And we will set the gain around minus 9 dBs, roughly. That's it. And we'll select a sharper band reduction by adjusting the Q parameter to around 547. The second frequency to fix is uh, 7 kHz, so we'll select the right amount. Of course, depending on the type of speaker cabinet, all these values may vary, so we set the gain value to around minus 11 dBs in that particular case, and again, we select the right Q value to work with a sharp frequency reduction. Finally, the third frequency is around 4400 Hz. So we select the value, first of all. This time we will drop the gain down to minus 541 dB. And again, a Q value to provide a sharp frequency reduction. We'll leave it at 650. So that's the first approach. So let's compare with the original sound. Okay. Now, the advantage of simulating a speaker cabinet with a Sonox EQ is that we can then customize the sound as much as we want. For example, we can give extra body to the final sound by setting one of the bands to around 200 Hz and opening the Q a little bit and then give it that extra body or call it what you want as much as we like. It's just a matter of personal taste. And again, in case we are facing a solo, we may want to add some presence by controlling one of the gain reductions that we've just done. So let's do that. Okay. So as much as we want, and then back to the rhythm section, by reducing the gain. There's more things that we could do, like inserting a second Sonox EQ with similar or even identical settings to get a tighter sound. And you can try to reproduce other kind of cabinets like 4x12 that you can store in different presets, like for example this one I've got. Parameters change slightly here as you can see, if we compare it with the original sound. So that's it basically. That's a first approach to a speaker cabinet simulation.